The best cat food brands have more than 25% meat in the product. Yes, there are some cat food brands that have less than 25% meat and some that even have less than 3% meat. Um, prescription diets. In the ingredients, you'll see very, very specific sources of meat instead of general blanket terms. And ideally it will have very high moisture between 70 and 80% because cats rely on food for moisture. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho and this video is all about what to look for on the cat food label. So when you're looking at the product name, you'll wanna look for simple product names or ones that include words like dinner, entree, recipe, platter, formula, nuggets, feast, etc. You're going to avoid product names that say with and flavor. According to AFCO's product name rules, a simple cat food name that does not have one of the descriptive terms I mentioned would have a 95% minimum of the named ingredient. So for example, carnivore duck would have at least 95% duck. Coming across 95% rule brands is very rare, so the next best thing would be the 25% minimum requirement or the dinner rule. According to AFCO's 25% dinner rule, any product that has one of the descriptive words I mentioned before, dinner, entree, recipe, platter, formula, nuggets, feast, etc., the minimum requirement for the named ingredient is 25%, and the maximum would be 94.9%. So for example, chicken recipe would have between 25 and 94.9% chicken because of the word recipe. For ingredients, you're going to avoid general blanket terms like byproducts, and you're going to look for very specifically named ingredients instead. So for example, instead of saying meat byproducts, the ingredients would say beef bone, beef liver, beef heart, beef kidney. Do you see the difference? Some people love telling me that byproducts are good and technically byproducts would mean secreting organs and bones, which yes, are nutritious for cats. However, why would some cat food brands list the exact sources of these byproducts and then other cat food brands would use the general blanket term? This tells me that the cat food manufacturer has no idea which byproducts are used, so they're just throwing them all together and using the general blanket term. Cats need meat, bones, and organs. So again, look for these specific sources of meat ingredients and aim for cat foods that have a lot of these ingredients. You wanna see minimal amounts of synthetic vitamins and minerals. Don't get me wrong, cats need vitamins and minerals, of course, but it's much better to get these nutrients from meats than it is from rice and corn and peas. You'll also have to use the guaranteed analysis numbers to calculate the approximate carb amount on a dry matter basis. Ideally, the cat food would have less than 10% carbs. If you can find even less than that, that's better. I have an entire video dedicated to how to calculate the carb amount on a dry matter basis. I'll put that in the top right corner. You can also grab my cat food label cheat sheet in the pinned comment, and that has an easy way to calculate the carb amount on a dry matter basis. As I mentioned in the beginning, high moisture foods are the best. Cats rely on their food for moisture, and dry kibble just is just too low for cats. The average indoor cat would have to drink at about one cup of water daily to make up for the lack of moisture in dry food. And no cat is ever going to drink that much water unless he's very, very sick. If your only options are between kibble and wet food, wet food wins. But you can also upgrade your kibble very easily. You can check out that video right over Mia. Thanks for watching.